Hey y'all, it's Hunter. In this video, I'm excited to show you the latest conditionals and transforms that we've added to Framer. They allow you to dynamically change your layouts based on different properties and content you have on your website. I'll show you how it works in this demo file. Here we have a website for a local bird conference and a schedule with a list of events that come from content in our CMS. And what we will do in this video is make the layout of these items in the schedule respond based on our CMS content. Let's open up the CMS to take a look at the structure of our content. If you click on one of the events, we'll see they have a title, a slug, the type of event they are, which can be either a talk, a workshop, or just a casual event. And then we have three location options, Big Tent, Rolling Meadows, and Cheerful Cave. Then we have a time and an about section. Now that we know the structure of our content, let's head back to the canvas to make our layout respond to it. The first thing I notice on our page is that it could use a bit more color and it's hard to differentiate between talks, workshops, and just casual events. Let's fix this by showing a different color for each event type. If we zoom in and we select this little element on the left, we can see its current fill is set to the primary color. If we click the fill title here, we can go to set variable, go to our field named type and use the new convert option. What convert option does is it allows us to say when the value from the CMS equals talk in this example, set the value to this color. So for instance, when it's set to talk, let's make it pink. If we go back, we can add another condition so that when it equals workshop, we'll set it to purple. Then what the fallback means is anytime it doesn't equal one of these, use this color. So for the casual events and maybe any other events that we haven't set up yet, let's use black. Let's zoom out to see how it looks. Nice, you'll see we have pink for our two talk items, then purple for workshops, and that blurred black for casual. Now we can set the time and location using prefix transforms. If we go to time, we can assign it to the content and we can go time and we want to add a prefix. So we can go time space. And because location is an option, we can go to set variable location display option. And then on top of that, because we can change transforms, we can add a prefix and we can set location, space. Now, one more thing I want to do here is show the capacity of each location. We don't want to update all our CMS items with the capacity. Let's just put it right into our design and make it respond based on the location. We can make this a stack, then create a new text layer. Then we'll access the transform UI again by clicking content set variable location convert option. This will set different content for our text layer based on what the location field of this current CMS item is equal to. When this collection item has a location of big tent, I want capacity to say 200. When it's set to rolling meadows, I want 500. And we'll add one more condition for cheerful cave. And then we'll say this holds 50 people. And then on top of this, we can add a transform and we can say capacity base and let's add an M dash so it fits in. Now with this transform, we have everything responding to our content and we didn't have to update any of our CMS items. It just responds exactly how we'd like it. Now I'll show you one more new way to make your layout respond to your content. If we preview our site, we can see that our content's starting to look pretty good. But if we click on the lunch, for instance, we'll notice it doesn't have any content because it's just lunch. Whereas the other events have descriptions. What we can do to fix this is use a conditional check to see if there is a description for each event and then conditionally show the information button. Let's do that now. So if we close our preview, we can go to the info button and this is where our information overlay lives. And all we have to do is go down to visibility, set variable, about, 
is set. And that's it. This condition will set the visibility of the info button to yes only if about content exists in the CMS item. If we preview our site and we scroll down, you'll see lunch no longer has an information button and only the events that have information show that. And that's been an overview of the new conditionals and transforms in Framer. We can't wait to see how you use them on your own sites. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.